on my way to the office and I had to stop by Starbucks, look at all that steam, to pick, to pick up this reduced fat turkey sandwich muffin with Swiss cheese and egg and my pumpkin spice latte because I have a meeting today with the guys for um, the channels that I manage which is Just Kidding Films and Just Kidding Party. Mm. I'm running a little bit late so I have to eat on the go. And then after I meet with them, damn this lady, a thug. Anyway, um, and then after I meet with them, I'm gonna go work out. So I need my carbulations in the morning and my coffeeation so that I can wake up. I wouldn't hunt a uh, wild game. What's that? I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't hunt like for pests, much. rare game. Show me. Yeah. I wouldn't do like rhinos and like, you know what I mean? Like some people go on trips. What is that called? Hmm? Uh, this is an AR-15. I saw this video on YouTube of and, this guy uh, shooting Joe's, a raccoon out of his It's head. an 18-inch barrel. Did you know you could put a suppressor on here? Yeah. Is that, what does the suppressor that's do? A, that's the, that's, that muzzle brake doesn't come with the gun though. It's, it's, it's a, um, it's an aftermarket. Oh. Yeah. What does a suppressor do? Is it like equivalent to a silencer? Yeah, that's a silencer. Oh. Ah. That's in some states. In some states, especially ours, ours is the shittiest. We have the most shittiest gun laws in California. You shot Charlie Chaplin in the nose. Oh my goodness, I'm freaking scared of that thing. How do you feel we about guns? Distracted. We got a meat. Me? me. <laughs> I have no worries about that gun. It just looks very intense. Right? It looks aggressive as fuck. I like the color scheme on it for sure. I like how it's matte black. Mm -hmm. It looks really sick. They got some really cool colors now. They got ones that are like, uh, like uh, bronze. They have ones that are like desert. There's one that's like metallic matte green for the earth. Well, you can These are all for camouflage sakes, you, you can right? You I mean, that's just aluminum, right? Or, uh, the, the actual covering, it's called Cerakote. And it's like something that's like, it makes it very, very durable. Cerakote coat. Oh, 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 durable for what? what is the, for what? Um, that's the type of painting style, like, to, that's not the color of the steel. Oh, it's so steel, okay. Well, I don't quite know what type of metal it is. Because I think you can technically get it. I think get a lot of the colors. shit is steel. What? You could technically re-anodize it, any, or they could strip whatever is on there for oh, yeah. and re-anodize it to, like, you know, South Beach colors. <laughs> you know, like, What's yeah, a South yeah, Beach yeah, color? They can coat it. The, um, the teal pink. Oh, um, for sure. The one that's really in right now. Targets. Oh, that's scary. Don't do that. Don't do that. This is the worst time to did, do that. Did I, did I tell you about my... Um... I'm going to stay in here then. Cause that, way... that looks scary as shit, babe. Oh, no, you didn't tell us, but tell us. So when I was in Germany, right, I had a very, very scary experience. What happened? I was in my room and I was watching TV on my computer when I started to hear some loud voices in the hallway. And I'm like, oh shit, you know, what's happening, right? And then so I open the door and I, I'm thinking like, well, it's nothing, right? And then I open the door right? and then I see this gun pointed at me. Oh what? shit. In Germany, what? yeah. What happened? So when, when, when I was in Germany, right, I was in my room, I was staying in my apartment, right? And yeah. My apartment has like a bedroom area and like a living room. Is this like an Airbnb apartment? It's an Airbnb apartment. So I'm in my living, I'm in my like my bedroom, right? And I'm like watching people on my computer, and then I hear like loud voices in the hallway. So I'm thinking like, oh shit, you know, this is probably from like you know outside the door. So I is this of, at the hotel? It's an Airbnb. Oh okay. So I open the door, right? And I'm thinking like, well, I mean like what? I'm gonna go see what it is, right? And then I notice that there's a gun pointed at me when I open. Oh, so they just had the gun like this? Yeah. What did you do? Holy fuck. Well, I was like, holy fuck, you know. Did like, you just close it real quick? Or no, did you no. just leave it there? I, I was like, oh shit, you know what yeah. like, Were they cops or were they like... Yeah, they were cops. Oh, do they, do they, they look like uniform? cops? They had uniform. And then so what, oh what they were God. actually shouting was Felicia. But to I, you? Yeah, because because um apparently I left the door open were in they, my apartment. Were they hitting your door? No, they were like, police, police, police. But I didn't, I didn't understand what they were saying because they are saying it in German for a while. So what did you do? I mean, it you all open the door and you're like, whoa. No, so basically, I, I open the door yeah. and then there's like a guy pointing at me like that, right? Yeah. Like, and his like car is over here. And I'm like, holy shit, you know, like, yeah. I'm thinking like, oh, damn, I'm gonna. 
So I had a life flash before that. One, like, I, I could have just got shot right now, and then two, I'm like, oh, fuck, you know, like, I'm thinking, like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about to get robbed, right? Because I, I don't But notice, he has a uniform on. But you don't really notice yeah. that. Because but one, it's, gun, it's, yeah. he's not wearing, like, the usual, um, you know, white and black that they wear in America. It's some, uh, some other uniform that they wear it in was Germany, like pink right? with flowers. No, it wasn't that, <laughs> it wasn't that nice, but then... Um, I realize that it's the police, and it's not like a robber, and then it all works out in the Some end. Some police in other countries look like military, too. He looked more like military yeah, to me than... Yeah, he looked scary. He looked look way like, more like military to me than... They're like super tactical looking, and you're like, what the fuck? You just so, pull out the of the streets? You, you just... How did you, like, defuse the situation? Oh, I, I just told him, like, yeah, um... You told him in English? I told... I mean, they all understand English, but oh. apparently what happened was that I had left my front door unlocked, and somehow oh. ended up coming open. Oh. And then the neighbor called the cops on me because she thought that someone was going in to rob this oh. unit. And then when the cops walked in, there's all this, like... Um, I was in the middle of doing laundry as well, right? Yeah. So there's, like, nothing in my suitcase. It's kind of all over the place. Yeah. And they thought that someone was kind of robbing. So that's why they came in with their guns. Fuck. Oh, and but what did you do? I was just like, I was really scared because yeah. for me, like, at first I thought that the voice was just coming from outside of my door. And yeah. then I heard the voice. But your door was kind of open? It was kind of like, I'm, so kind of imagine like I'm in that room, you know, facing oh, yeah. that way with the door closed, but not all the way closed. And I hear this voice from the outside and I can't understand what they're saying. And then the voice gets louder and louder. So I'm thinking, like, oh shit, you know, is there like a fire? Maybe I should kind of go out there, right? And then I open the door, I see a gun pointing at me. Mm. And I'm like, oh shit, you know. What did the hookers do in the room? The, the, <laughs> the, the hookers were not in the room at that time, okay? <laughs> Just but, kidding. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what happened? So in the end, um, I realized that it was the police. Cute bastard. I, uh, I put my pants, I, I mean, so this is a- <laughs> Put my- You put- Wait, why are your pants <laughs> what? What are you talking so I, I was, about? I was in my underwear because I was about to get ready to go to bed, you know, if I box Why did on, you have right? a butt plug on? No, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I, I put back on my uh, my pants and I explained to them that no, I'm just doing Airbnb here and I really appreciate how you guys came to let me know that my door is open. Did you know what your Airbnb was? I showed them like, um, you know, my reservation and everything and it's like, oh, okay, I understand. And then he, they were he, pretty uh, cool about it? They're pretty cool. And then, they look at, and then I gave them my passport as well and then they called someone and I guess it all checked out. But it, it was really scary to see like a gun pointed at me. That's pretty gangster though. That that was like loaded. Fuck. Yeah, we had one when we were shooting. Remember, when we were filming. But but then that's a, that's not a real gun. No. Oh no, no, no the cop. When the cop pulled oh, you up weren't on there. Us. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Oh, that's right. I I was there, but then I wasn't. I wasn't having. And Josh like, was the only one holding the gun at the, the time. The black guy. I, I mean, I didn't have the gun pointed at me, so it's different, you know. Because I was like. On the side, and then uh, oh. it was abrupt though. The fucking the jeep just pulled up. He gets out, and he looks like some mercenary, Counter Strike looking guy that's not even in full uniform. Or the cop. It wasn't even a cop truck. It was like a just a unmarked it's a vehicle. Undercover guy, yeah. But I, I, I think it's different though. Like when you're like in that area, and you don't see like the comedian gun pointed at your face. That's uh, true. I, I think for Josh, he must have been freaked out like crazy. Oh yeah, because yeah, yeah. when it's close. Yeah. Because for me, I it wasn't. It, it was kind of like you know, it's like this. Like you know, you're on. Right that right, yeah, and then I'm standing over here. Yeah. So obviously I know he's not gonna shoot me. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's oh yeah, it's not at your yeah. But like this one but was for like me, it was like, like Josh, like, me, Oof. David, Bart, like all in one side, and then he was pointing toward this way, and I look, and then Josh is holding the gun with two hands, <laughs> and then he's putting it down like this. Yeah, that was crazy. Damn, you, you survived. Gotta, you gotta go, though. Actually, I I don't have to pick up till two forty five though. I didn't want to run into traffic going to the OC either. Okay, well, let me see. Or we um, can go there and grab lunch first. Yeah, if you don't mind. I don't mind. I, I, I gotta stay for a couple hours. Okay. Because you know how the pickup time? Yeah, yeah. Like, you bought it way before me? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I just gotta do a wrap-up video. So I'm just gonna work. I'm gonna go... <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Excuse me. God. Damn. I gotta, uh, fill up this backpack. With what? Bunch of stuff. No, no, don't that. put your hookery on other people, I Michael. Know. Michael, you're the sexual person. <laughs> so I bought a couple of rifles. I got put in here. And uh, you're gonna go pick them up now, cause you can't pick them up same day that you buy it. Right? I gotta wait ten days in California. You said you were so excited. So I told Bart to bring uh, the go for broke stuff 
this time around, right? I'm like, hey, don't forget, I don't have room in my car, can you please bring it? He comes here, I go in our living room, the go for broke stuff is still there. I'm like, what happened? He's like, I got too excited. I was just, I had all my gear, all my gun gear, so I left it at home. And this is the second time, because in the first time he went to go buy stuff, he forgot to take out our dogs, and they were just <laughs> stuck in a room because he was so excited. Well, why don't why don't you have room? Because you haven't cleared out your trunk that I told you to clear your trunk out for a long time. No, I had to put something. Even if it was clear, I can't take both of those big boxes. I had to put one in the trunk How and one next to the seat. Magically make it happen. This That's time. why I was late because I had to make shit happen. Yeah, you magically made it happen, didn't you? Oh my god! Thank you for bringing the boxes, Gio. <laughs> Thank you for bringing the boxes, Gio. I really yeah. appreciate Thank you for Thank all you. the Trump awesome finally. clothing that you brought us so that we can finally get some awesome media made. Thank yeah, you. for Go For Broke. Go For Broke. I told you to. Coming soon. Yeah, I went Go For Broke when trying to put the gear in my car. <laughs> Bart! Thank you for finally cleaning out our trunk. So me. So after meeting with Bart, Joe, and Michael, I went to Barbell and I got my workout in. Um, I'm still rehabbing the chesticles here, so I can't really do too much chest work on. Today was chest. Um, so I worked out, and then after I worked out, I went to Pasadena, because I, I have to do some shopping, specifically for, like, a long coat, trench coat, preferably. Um, because Japan is going to be cold, and it snows out in Japan, so... Um, trench coats in areas that snow make the most sense like somewhere out here in California It never makes any sense for you to own a trench coat and wear a trench coat besides looking fly as fuck Because um, I've gone to different countries that snow and I'm like, oh This makes sense why you want to wear a trench coat because it's like you're walking around with a blanket on you and like most of your body is covered in this like blanket aka trench coat and it made sense to me why they were so long. So um, since I'm going to Japan, I need something that's gonna warm me up. Cause if you know me, you know that I am terrified of the cold, like completely terrified. So unfortunately I did not have any luck with finding a trench coat, but I did find other things that I'm about to share with you. But first, is she chewing on something? What are you chewing on? Oh no, don't you start chewing on things. You don't chew on things. You never chew on things. Who taught you how to chew on things? Hey, sit. Why are you chewing on things? Don't chew it. No. You little booger. <coughs> anyway, um, so I'm about to grub and I haven't eaten anything all day um, besides the turkey. Oh, she, she just hit her face. Are you okay? What happened? Did you hear that thud? That was her mouth. She keeps licking her mouth because it hurt her. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'm a, um, the only thing I had to eat today was that pumpkin spice latte and my reduced turkey um, breakfast sandwich. So, I only had time to pick up my very not-so-favorite. I always get... The grilled artisan chicken no vinaigrette sandwich. And it's, again, it's macro friendly, so I just get it. See, there's nothing in it. It's it's pretty straightforward. Bada bing, bada boom. That is it. So I'm gonna eat first and then I'm gonna show you guys what I bought and I'm pretty excited to show you. And nobody's home. I hate it. I hate coming home to a dark house. Look, nobody's home, nobody's home, nobody's home, except for us. I hate it. I hate being by myself. I miss Bart. Today's Bart's birthday, by the way, but he's so anti-birthday that he, like, every time someone tells him happy birthday, he's like, oh, it is? Oh, cool. And that's it. Like, he doesn't care for it. Which I gotta show you something that I bought him, too. Um, but, yeah, he could care less for his birthday. But, unfortunately, because our schedules are so crazy, I know I said I was about to eat, but... I keep rambling on. But anyway, because our schedules are so crazy, he has a meeting up until like 9 or 10, as do I. And after my 9 and 10 meeting, then I have to meet with Anthony because we're going to dance. Because I'm dancing now. Get my dancing feet in motion. Yeah, so I'm dancing now. Um, so unfortunately, we can't even have a dinner. But this weekend, we are going to go to the shooting range because that's what he loves doing. And I knew it, so 
We're arranging that. He bought a bunch of guns that I'm sure he already showed you or is about to show you. Um, we're going to go to the shooting range on Saturday. And then Sunday night, we're going to go to this restaurant that everyone raves about. Um, we're going to have like 20-something people go for his birthday. So it's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. Unfortunately, his birthday day doesn't mean much to him. But I'm making it mean something. God damn it. So I'm done eating. And as promised, I'm going to show you guys what I bought today. What I bought today. All right. So um, first, I'm going to start with what I got from Lululemon. And uh, for those of you that don't know, Lululemon is where I get all my tights from. These are actually Lululemons. Uh, my sports bra are Lululemons. Because I, I put a video of me dancing on Instagram. Uh, and I was in a sports bra. And you guys were asking me where I got that bra from. Well, it's Lululemon. So, um, I've been meaning to buy another gym bag because the one that I have broke. So, um, I went to Lululemon because not only do they have really cute looking things, they also have very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, functional items. So, um, I'm like, dude, Lululemon has great quality products uh, with all the functions that I need for the gym. So, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go there. So, I went there and I noticed that they had duffel bags, but they were kind of smaller because it's mainly geared for like yoga people and like, just not power lifters where you have a belt and you have multiple shoes for multiple lifts. So, it wasn't geared for power lifting, so they didn't have bigger size bags. So, when I was looking, I saw that they had backpacks and I realized at that very moment that I'm more of a backpack person than I am a purse or duffel bag kind of person. I don't like wearing something on just one side and then just being lopsided the whole day. Like, I feel like I always need some balance. So I love backpacks. Like, I don't even carry a purse, I carry a backpack. Uh, so I got a backpack! And it's really cool because it has all these different compartments. Like, there's a compartment here. <sighs> Lululemon, if you're watching, please sponsor me. Um, and this is like the laptop compartment. And it's cool because it's labeled as such. Uh, and here's for like little items. There's actually a fleece lining on the inside and this is where I could put like maybe my keys or my cell phone like if I need quick access to things. Uh, and then on the and then I have like a water bottle pocket here and another one here, which I think is great. And then I can zip it up depending on how big I or how much space I need. I can zip it up, make it smaller. And now it became a little bit tighter. Uh let me see, I have another compartment up in the front here. And these are for other like quick access things that I need to line. Even the lining's really cute. Look at that. And then I have this strap here so I can make the bag a lot more taut if I need to. And then the main zipper here. I love these side zippers, by the way. I love that I can expand the water bottle sides if I needed to. So my favorite part of this thing is that um, there's a bunch of bags within bags within bags. And there's all these compartments. So, and here, it even comes with like a shoe pouch. So I can put my shoes in here and not contaminate and dirty all the other items that I have in here. And then it's a mesh lining here with a little pocket. I think is dope. And then here's another mesh pocket, you see, in here. And then I have the inside that I can do that, uh, that I can store like my belt. So I can have like my wrist wraps, uh, my shoes go in here, my belt can go in here, um, and all my other gym items can go in here. And I can just wear it like a cool little backpack. Because um, it's also padded on the back. There's rubber here so that my it just sticks to my back. And there's rubber on the bottom um, since it needs to be super durable since I'm going to be leaving it on the ground um, for the most part. So this part won't wear out. And holy crap! I didn't even know this! Okay, never mind. And it expands to become bigger. I thought it was a shoe compartment here. Yes, yeah, so if I need more space, then voila. Oh, dude, there's another pocket here, which is here. So I think this is where I will probably leave... I don't know, any other items that I need to leave here. That is epically cool! Okay, so that's my Lululemon purchase. I didn't get anything else from there. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh! And I got Bart. Some dots. As his little birthday 
birthday cake. And I bought this little pick that says, Happy birthday. Wait, focus. Focus. Can you focus? There it is. It says, Happy birthday. So I got him a bunch of cute little cupcakes, mini cupcakes. He's a big fan of chocolate. I, for one, am not. Here, I'll show you. I forgot what the flavors were. I should have taken more notice or just a picture. But it's just, I think that's chocolate vanilla, chocolate raspberry, um, red velvet, chocolate on chocolate, and cookies and cream. Woo! I can't believe I remembered that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I got him a bunch of little cupcakes so he can indulge because he has the biggest sweet tooth ever. And um, this beats having a full cake of just one flavor so he can have a smorgasbord of chocolate in his mouth. So that's for Bart. And I went to Madewell looking for a trench coat. Um, I didn't get the trench coat because it didn't have all the requirements that I wanted. I wanted it to be long, I wanted it to look stylish, and it's very important that the lining is like this satin or or like this soft material on the inside, um, but it needs to have pockets on the inside. And I've noticed that the new designs at least got rid of the the, the inner pockets, so I don't know. And these things were like running for three, four hundred dollars, and I'm like, you would think that they would put at least one pocket on the inside of the coat. It was so weird for me. So I didn't find the coat that I wanted, but I did find a wallet that I wanted, and it's this guy here. It's really cute. Look at that. It's simple. I like it. It's a. Uh, I'm, I'm a very simple person. I don't like too many bells and whistles on things. I don't like really flashy things. And it's slim, and it's chilling. So I got that, and I also bought a, a bracelet. So here's a bracelet, and then you open it, focus, I don't know if you see that, okay, there you go, and then you open it like this, and voila, there it is, my bracelet, so that's what I got from Madewell, and after Madewell, I went to Restoration Hardware, and Restoration Hardware is like this interior, like furnishing, um, home decor type of store, but every season they bring out these really cool stocking stuffers and I find the coolest gadgets. So, um, I bought this, which is a roll-up travel charger, four, device, blah, four devices charged at once, which I thought was super cool because every time I travel, you know, I have this, this, um, I have this camera, I have my phone charger, I have, I mean, I have my phone, I have just different devices and different things that need to be charged all the time. So when I saw this on display, let me open this for you. I'm like, oh, I have to buy this. And it was super cool. Oh man, <laughs> there's another piece of tape. Give me a second. I'm using my keys to open it here. Okay, let's see. All right, so let's open it together. I thought that was so cool. So this is basically what it is. So it rolls up like this, and then it has the USB ports here. So when I'm done traveling, or when I'm ready to go home, I just roll it up like this, and voila, that's it, I'm done. I take it with me, isn't that cool? I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Oh, and it comes with a bunch of chargers already. So it comes with the mini USB, Oh, they didn't give me my iPhone charger. Well, too many USBs and then um, what looks to be like uh, an old iPod charger. I don't know what other devices use this charger, but anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. So I know Bart will be using this with me. So when I saw that there was four, I'm like, cool, I only need two. And I'm sure Bart, because he has the same camera that I have, um, I'm sure he only needs two as well. Wait, what is this? What is this in here? And, oh, and then this is the cord that it comes with. Which is funny because I need to bring... Maybe I'll just bring this whole this whole case. This whole... Uh, 
this whole tube. So that was what I bought, one of the things that I bought from Restoration Hardware. <laughs> I didn't buy any home decor stuff, but I definitely bought stocking stuffers. And it's really cool. I, I highly recommend if there's a Restoration Hardware around you guys. And you want like really inexpensive but very unique gifts. This was 50 bucks. And there was really nothing there more than $50. I think this was the more expensive thing. But it's really useful and it's really practical things. Um, and like I said, they're really unique. The packaging is pretty cool. I mean, you can't go wrong. So if you don't know what to get that, I recommend making a quick stop to Restoration Hardware and, um, and getting that. Okay, in addition to that, because I'll be traveling again to Japan, so I thought this would be cool to bring. And when you travel internationally, the outlets are all different. So the, the outlets that we use here, unfortunately, they don't use the same kind in Europe. So I bought an international, um, what is this one called? This one's called Global 4 Port Charger All-in-One Power Source. And it features, um, safely charges up to four devices at once using a single outlet. Isn't that freaking cool? I don't know. I'm, I'm, so here are all the different, wait up, what is this? Hold on, I'll figure this out. So there's four. I don't know what I'm looking at. Does it come with instructions? It does. Oh, cool. I think I can, it retracts somehow. Oh, oh, oh my God, this is cool. Okay, so look at this and it's a gonna pop out. So this is for your laptop. Um, You see it's here, oh wait, no, that's not it. Is it it? I don't know, I'm confused what this is for. Oh, this is for, this one right here is plugs for EU. Plug EU fits EU sockets. There we go. See that? Pretty cool. And then when I turn it again, this one is now for the US. So I know that US and Australia use this one. I knew that. Hold on, let me turn it again. Oh, look at this one. Oh my God, this is so cool. I scored. This one is UK, UK, UK sockets. And I am freaking stoked. This is so fucking genius. This is what I'm talking about. Like, how awesome is this? This is great. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with this purchase. You guys have no idea. I think this was 50 bucks too, but look at how many I have. And then it's showing me something about something. I don't know what that is. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But isn't this cool? It's so cool for if, so if you have like a friend, I swear this is not a <laughs> an ad, I promise you, but I really do enjoy sharing things with you guys that I find a lot of value in and, an, and, a, and a lot of use for. Like I try to be very honest when I, tell you things that I enjoy and I share these things with you guys because I feel like if it can benefit me, it can benefit you guys. So if you guys have like any friends or whatever that travel a lot, this is a great gift. Or if you're just gonna travel, I would highly recommend it. Or if you travel a lot, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, this one was $45, my mistake, $45. Oh, I'm sorry, that's for Canada. This one was $40, dang, that is a bargain if you ask me. It's a stale. So this is what I got from Restoration Hardware. Now, from Urban Outfitters, and that was my last stop, actually. I got a few things. I got an infinity scarf because if you know me, you know that I'm deathly afraid of the cold. So anything I can hide my face in and do one of these things, I will be happy. So I have an infinity scarf, and this is fleece. So it's super warm and I can't wait to bury my face in this when it's so cold. I'll probably be like this the whole time. So I bought this and I bought a purse. I know I've just finished saying how I don't um, like bringing purses, but unfortunately the backpack that I have is not big enough as a, to bring on carry on items. So I was thinking, you know, this purse would be cool and it's big and it's spacious. Um, just for, you know, the in-flight stuff. I 
I bring my iPad and a couple magazines and a couple snacks um, to chew on the plane and just to eat. Because it is like a, I think, 17-hour flight. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. Or maybe 13 hours. Maybe 17 was Australia. I think it's a 13-hour flight, so I thought it'd be cool to get a little duffel bag going. And then I bought, oh, gloves. And I made sure that they were touchscreen compatible since we use so many devices. Um, I didn't want to have to take off my, my gloves every time I wanted to, you know, do something on my cell phone. So I made sure. Okay. Who's that? Me. Oh, it's you. Hola. I was just sharing them with them the stuff that I bought for Hello. Japan. Yeah, so it's okay. So I was saying, um, I made sure that they were they were touch screen compatible. The gloves. I got them from Urban Outfitter. Ooh, you know I, what would have been better? What? If you would have gotten leather. No, it works. Leather. And I don't like leather ones because my think my hands sweat in leather. But Ooh. these were cute. Cute. Yeah. And they were only fourteen bucks. Nice. Oh yeah, his TFTI girl. I need to go shopping too. My bad girl was last minute. <laughs> it's okay. Um, and then I got this colorway. I got two of them because I know Bart likes to take my things for me. So if I only got one, I know he'd be like, "Oh, why didn't you get me one?" So I got black for him. And I also bought this cute little headband thingy. I don't even know what it's called, but I figured it would be useful because. I'm always getting cold as shit, and it's really cute because it has all these little gems on it. Look at my face. <laughs> I've never, ever, ever, ever owned anything like this, so excuse me, and please correct me if I'm using it wrong. But I wanted something that would help me keep my ears warm, so did I do it right? So this is what I wanted. Ooh. Yeah, so I got that. Um, solid gloves, and I got this guy for my hair. Well, I won't be wearing a bun, but basically, I pretend there's no bun. I look like a fortune teller, darling. So yeah, this is it, but pretend there's no bun. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm trying to really prep for this cold ass winter in Japan. So that were the mo that was the motivation behind my purchases today. It was everything travel. And yeah, that concludes what I bought today. So that was fun. Ow, I just smacked my face. <sighs> I actually hate packing for things, to be honest. So I'm not looking forward to that at all, but it should be fun. It's going to be the whole crew um, going to a new country that I've never been to before. Um, and I can't wait because it's Japan. Like, fuck. It's awesome. I can't wait to go to Shibuya of all places. Shibuya! Um, and if you don't know where Shibuya is, that's... Like, whenever they show you Tokyo and there's like a million people crossing and they look like ants, and you just see like all these skyscrapers and all these lights, um, that's Shibuya. So that's where I wanna go. Uh, okay. I thought she was trying to show you what it feels like if a girl was riding the guy. No! <laughs> 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 <laughs>